Salutations! My name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome to 100 Days in the Origins mod. Basically, I decked out Minecraft with over 200 mods, including tons of Origin mods. And every 10 days, I'll be spending a wheel to change my origin. Can I survive 100 days, kill the Ender Dragon, and all in all live in this bizarre world with my species changing? Well, you gotta watch to find out, duh. Also, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment for the algorithm gods, you know, the normal stuff YouTubers tell you. With over 80 hours of work put into this video, it is the hardest one I've ever made, so please enjoy 100 Days Origins. Hey, I'll make this quick. Did you know I have a second channel called Eclipse Again? If you didn't, well, you can check it out by clicking here, and there's also a link in the description. There's tons of bonus content on the channel, like streams, let's plays, and pretty much everything I don't think would fit on this channel. So if that's what you're fancy, go and check it out. Okay, bye! Was that fast enough, algorithm? Loading up the world on day one, and I'm greeted with this screen. I have 25 origins to choose from, but I'm not gonna be the one to do the choosing. I'm gonna spin a wheel every 10 days and determine my origin. So let's get at it. Now, every time I get a new origin, I'll explain what they do. The feline, for example, can jump two blocks instead of one, never take fall damage, they're lightweight so they don't attract mobs, can slightly see in the dark, and creepers are afraid of them. Sounds all fine and dandy, right? Well, there's also some negative attributes. Yin to a yang, if you will. These being that I only have nine hearts, because this game thinks it's cute, and I have weak arms, meaning I can only break blocks that have less than two blocks adjacent to them. Yeah, that's really confusing, I know. It basically means I can't break stone, even with a pickaxe. So with this knowledge, what's the first thing you think I did on day one? Jump right into a fucking cave with no way out, of course. In my defense, the wording on weak arms confused me and I didn't know what it meant. So I hopped on down to look for ores and minerals and to stack myself up early. Instead, I put myself in a death trap with no way of getting out. And to put the icing on the fuck cake, I lost this diamond. Good start. Day two, I started the long trek back up. Being a cat actually worked to my advantage here because I big bounced my way out of the cavern. Making sure to pick up some Sapphire on the way because in every other mod pack I've played, Sapphire's pretty good early game. And that combined with the iron I got, I thought I'd be pretty stacked. Nope. Turns out Sapphire protects me as much as a bulletproof vest protects me from emotional damage. Th that is to say it doesn't do much. Now, oh, well, iron it is then. There was also an underwater structure and I wanted to loot it, but one look at it and I knew my cat would be destroyed if they went down there. Wrapping up day two, I placed the prefab house for some quick and easy protection, storage, and well, housing. It's in the name. And I went to sleep. Day three, I went out to get some coal, smelt some of the iron, and then look around my new home, where I came across a village on the mountain. This gave me an idea. And on day four, I enacted it. You see, if I can't go mining for diamonds, then I'll have to go trading for them. So I got some sticks, fletchered them into emeralds, and began to level up a toolsmith. Day five, second verse, same as the first. I jumped onto the rooftops of the villagers' houses while they were sleeping, snuck into their homes, and forced them to trade all their emeralds with me at gunpoint. I am the elusive capitalist of the night. You can call me the cat -pitalist. No, wait, please don't leave. Look, I know it was a terrible pun. Please, I had to do it. Please don't. At the end of the day, I was rocking out with a diamond axe, so that meant even faster stick production. All was going well until the next day. The villagers caught on to my capitalist antics and raised their trade prices on me. It's fine for now, but if he goes up again, our little trading friend might find himself replaced. I also made an armorer, but arm armorer? Ar arm 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 or armorer? Uh, the thing that gives armor. But those guys are really hard to level up. Look, I'm only on day six. Cut me some slack. Once the trades ran dry for the day, I went exploring the mountain and I found a glowing chiseled blackstone block. That looked suspicious and sure enough, right under it was a diamond block. I evaded the enemies and picked it up for myself. Day seven, a certain someone was still being difficult. So I have some new employees now. They will be much more loyal and sell me sticks at a reasonable price. At least that's what their blood contracts say. Day eight, I looted some graves. What, don't look at me like that. They're not using it. And inside I got some amethyst, junk, and leather, which will become important later. And then I pressed the wrong button and... Edit box. Edit box. Edit box. Edit box. Use mouse cursor. Game options. U music and sound options. Use mouse cursor. Device. System oh, default no. button. Options. Stop Iter it. Off. <laughs> there it is. No. Sure hope I never do that again. Anyways, wrapped up the day with more grave looting and stick collecting. Shit, it's already day nine? We're gonna have to switch soon. These days move fast. So on day nine, I used the leather to make backpacks so I could pick up and leave locations should my origin need to. Or just in case I wanted to find an actual fucking place to live. And of course, did more trading. Now I have all the diamond tools I could ever need and a diamond chest plate without ever going mining. 
But just like that, my time as a capitalist, capitalist, look, I need to get one more in, okay, don't be mad at me, has come to a close, and it's now time for a new origin. I'm always gonna switch on the 11th day, so I've had 10 full days to be that origin. I think that's the most fair way I could put it. Our next origin is... I really want a Dragonkin, Endearian. This is one of the original origins, and their abilities are as follows. You can teleport anywhere via an Ender Pearl with no damage. A Slender Body helps us reach further blocks, I guess. Kind of shitty in my opinion. And we've got some drawbacks. Yeah, that was all the, uh, all the good things about the end of it. Just ender pearl, pretty much. Water. I'm allergic to the entire concept of hydrogen mixing with oxygen. That will fuck me up faster than you can say, damn it. So of course the logical thing would be to stay inside all 20 days. So, I mean, what did I do? <laughs> I went exploring, of course. Look, if you're new here, you might not know this. So let me fill you in. You ready? Get a little closer. Come on. I'm fucking stupid. Good, now you're all caught up to speed. Also, if you're new here, could you just like subscribe or something? <coughs> you know, I'm, that's, I'm just saying. Look, man, my analytics don't look so good. I pull up the page and it just says, fuck you, idiot. So you can subscribe, please. I'm Day 12, I'm still out exploring. Sometimes I have to mine underground because water, you know, the base liquid for everyone to live. Yeah, yeah, that thing's a problem for me. Touching it makes me melt. So sometimes the caves are the best option. Once the rain cleared up, I found this lovely little clearing next to a village and I decided this is where I'd hunker down and build my forever home. I wanted to build this house out of birch because I don't usually use that wood. I mean, you know, <clears throat> certain other woods are better. That sounds like I'm talking about dicks. <laughs> Let's try that again. I wanted to build this house out of birch, because I don't usually use that wood. I mean, you know, certain other woods are better. <clears throat> Dark oak. But I wanted to see if I could make this house look good with birch. Day 14, I was still building. Got the walls up, but no roof yet. God, I sure hope nothing timely and comedic happens. Oh, look. You chonky. I'm saying that. No, 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 no. Oh! Ha! Oh, no, no, no. It started raining, I don't have a roof yet, and an Enderman just teleported next to me. Yeah, homie, I'm scared too. <laughs> I get it. I, I vibe with you so hard right now, dude. I vibe with you so hard, buddy. Oh. Okay, down here is safe, and I'm hanging with the Enderman, buddy. <laughs> this is perfect. What's up, man? I'm terrified too. I don't want to test it. I may die. I'm in hardcore. I haven't tested it. Oh, dude, buddy, I've been there. My mortal nemesis, Aquafina, has reared its ugly head. So instead, I went mining underground so I don't end up dead. But down here was dread, so lightly I tread to find bread in the form of ores overhead. Bars. The gods were benevolent, however, and the rain stopped so I could exist again. And I found a native. Oh my god, his llama is stuck in the- Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'd like to buy your white sample. Oh, it stopped raining. It stopped raining. Oh, glorious day. Day 16, I kept building the base and totally meant to build 33 marble buttons here. What do you mean? Day 17, I finished up the final touches on the house, like windows, pillars, and on day 18, she was looking good. But things have been quiet for too long, and I'm a paranoid bitch, so diamond armor it is. After mining, I had enough to make a full set, but this is modded, so that's basically like making armor out of paper. I still gotta be really careful, or I'm gonna get royally fucked. With my new quote-unquote armor, I went out into the caves to get more loot. There's these mythic metals I wanna get my hands on. What I did not expect to find was this shit. No way. No way! Right below me is that?! A red one too! Hello? Friends! I'm writing down the chords. In hindsight, this was the dumbest shit I could do, because that dragon would have killed me, and had I not tamed it the first time, I, that would have been it. I would have been dead. Over. But I have a dragon now, that I can't get out of this cave that is just now trapped here. Fuck. Oh, 
I'll come back for you! The next day, I went out to go collect sugar cane. I need to get enchants ASAP. Things keep hurting me really bad. Getting the cane, however, is tricky because it's by water, and we all know how I feel about that. And it's now day 20, which is the last day as an enderman. And with water off limits, we're gonna spend it getting obsidian and not being in the water. Seriously, it kills you so fast. But we don't have to worry about it anymore because that was it. And on day 21, Platformer? What am I, fucking Mario? What does platformer do? I'm glad you asked past me. The platformer origin is better at jumping, can dash after every jump, and is overall a maneuvering god, but he's made out of paper mache. And combat inept, meaning we do less damage and our tools break faster. Lovely. And here I was planning on going to the nether. Oh. Oh, the dash goes up. Oh, the dash goes up. Well, first day is Mario. I found a rainbow sheep, and they're just so pretty, and I love it. They're coming home with me, okay? I don't need to explain why I love rainbow sheep, but I love rainbow sheep. It's mine now. Then Mario carried on the legacy of our waterphobic friend and finished the enchantment table. <laughs> with the table made, I decked out my pickaxe with as many enchants as I could stuff into the fucker. We got efficiency four, unbreaking three, and fortune two. Two. Really? Really, game? Two. You fucking cock tease. I also made Lilith's bow, which I thought was cool, but as I'll find out later, was way more trouble than it's worth. And finally, I made a magic wand. This thing really sucked. Like, like it did, like it did nothing. I even got some spells, and they either said they just missed or hurt me instead. Enemies have become so much more threatening. Enemies have become so much more threatening. That did half my health. In what country? In what world is that allowed to do half my fucking health? Day 23, I went Marioing around the block. I wanted to find some cool structures to loot, but for some reason, the only things I could find were villages. And then a storm came. Maybe it was the Enderman PTSD, but my God, the lightning in this game is like genuinely terrifying. Holy shit. Like, why did this game need Zeus's giant ball sack to slap across the sky every time pixelated lightning happens? Jesus, fuck. Is that a diamond pickaxe? It's my diamond pickaxe! When did he take it? That thing is in my world now. Those are all over the nether, and they are the more tame creatures we find in literal hell. They are from the Doom MC mod, putting the Doom creatures from, uh, what's that one, one game? Doom. Oh, yeah, Quake, into Minecraft. The world's fastest thing to rival Mario. Here it is, here it is. What the fuck is that? Dude, Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he's got an attitude. Sonic, he's the fastest. Good riddance. Um, day 25, I changed my mind. Uh, maybe we don't go into the hellscape that is the nether just yet. Instead, I'm back at that nifty little village to make a mending villager. I literally got it like second try. Day 26, I'm mining. I always like to switch it up. And I found this. That's not mine. That's just another one, ain't it? This is not mine. You will kill me. You will kill little old Mario. While mining, though, I got a lot of mythic metals, adamite, and a lot of diamonds. If I had fucking fortune three, I'd get more, but no, no, it's fine, whatever. I don't even care. This entire trek was super dangerous, because Mario basically is wearing, like, leather armor right now. Yeah, I'm not exaggerating. I'm super fragile right now. I'm making fucking glass jealous. But I managed to live, and at the end of day 27, I made some blast furnaces. Furni? They aren't creatures, so do they get a plural? Furni. Furni. Furni, we're going with that. Whatever, I made blast furnies, but then realized I'm an idiot and this is modded, so I made a diamond furnace. Then realized I was doubly dumb because a diamond furnace is only as fast as a blast furnace, so egg on my face, I guess. Stupid mod pack. To finish up the day, I made an adamantium sword, which is slightly better than diamond. I'll take it. 
every little edge I can get, I need in this mod pack. Back to the villagers on day 29. You know the drill, Fletchers, mending books, yada yada. And day 30, damn. Last day is the parkour god. On day 30, I found this snake thingy with a health bar. Yeah, I didn't know bosses were in this mod, but here they fucking are. Luckily, the snake was really easy to take down, and upon killing it, Just in case you were wondering, that sword sucks donkey dick. The Adamite sword is much better, and at the end of day 30, I was feeling pretty confident with it. I even went out killing at night, getting some levels and whatnot, trying to get up to 30 to enchant. I got it and enchanted my sword to get backstabbing three. Seems really specific, only works if I'm hitting people from behind, but it might be useful. Afterwards, I went to bed. Visions of what I might become tomorrow dancing in my head. Apparently, it was a thick-ass iron golem that I was dreaming of, because... Dupe. Iron Golem. <sighs> so, the Iron Golem. Pluses. I don't gotta eat. I don't take fall damage until like 13 blocks away. I can throw people into the air. Cool. Cons. Oh, God. I can't hold a shield. I'm heavy and sink in water and. <clears throat> Iron Body. I get twice the amount of health. Oh, lovely. But I can only heal myself with iron. Doesn't seem that bad, right? Yeah, you see that bar? That is the timer before I can heal again. I heal five hearts at a time, and that timer takes forever and a half to recharge. And if I press the heal button while not holding the iron, when that thing gets full, it just resets and I have to wait again. This is gonna fucking suck. Everything I just told you, I had no idea about going in because I apparently cannot read. So on day 31, I went back into the nether. <laughs> As you can see, this is an EQ in his natural habitat, being really fucking stupid. So the main goal in the nether is not to stay here very long. I brought a fire pot to silk touch a blaze spawner and dip. You can actually do that in this mod pack, just a silk touch pickaxe, whack it there, boom, you pick up the blaze spawner, life is good. It was actually pretty doable, only because of the fire resistance pot, but I was able to get it and just run out of the nether. Day 33, I'm building a room? Question mark? The plan is to place the blaze spawner in this room and then break the spawner once three blazes or two blazes or four blazes, whatever one cycle of blazes have spawned so I can kill them in a controlled environment. This would have been great if one of them hadn't spawned as a boss. Oh my god, perfect timing rain. Perfect timing rain. How do I kill this motherfucker? I have spawned Satan down there, and I do not know how to fix it. Don't you go back down. But if I think I just tank it like a... Pr I ran out of arrows on the last hit. Oh, thank god the fire and the wither wore off. I got a sharpness three gold axe for my trouble. Well, I killed him but that was cutting it a little close. The reason I was so hell-bent on this was so that I could make a golden lasso out of an ender eye. This golden lasso can basically pick up any friendly creature, like my dragon. However, whenever I picked up the dragon, the game crashed. I was worried this would happen. The Mythic Mounds mod doesn't like to work with the lasso mod, so I'll have to find another way to rescue my dragon companion. Well, if I can't do that, I'm back in the nether on day 34. This 100 days moves really fast. We only have 10 days as each origin, I gotta make them count. And my thought process to do that is as follows. If I'm an iron golem, I'm beefy beefy. And well, lava is a threat when mining for ancient debris, it's like the only threat. Plus, being beefy beefy, I don't think I'm gonna burn to death. So, I'm gonna use that netherite that I get, becoming beefy beefy. Now I'm super beefy beefy. Look, I, I have a whole like whiteboard about the entire like plan if you wanna just check it out. Like, okay, it's just, it's, it's foolproof, I promise. On day 34, I got just enough to make a netherite pickaxe. Cause I'm gonna search for netherite with a slightly unconventional method. I won't be using the bed method that everyone does. I'm just gonna sweep through the netherite with my pick and make schmooze. Day 35, while going back to make a netherite pick for some reason, I went back in the cave. I don't even know why I did this. My notes just says goes in cave, but this happened. Uh. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Back in the nether, day 36, searching for that sweet, sweet ancient mine shaft. Uh oh. Yes, this is a nether mine shaft. And you know, I wasn't just gonna not loot it. This place had a lot of random items and chests, but it also had a zombie piglin spawner. Actually, zombie piglin spawn nurse. And I'll just take those. Yoink. Day 37, I picked up the rest of the ancient debris, which was good because my helmet and chest plate were getting really worn down. And that would have spelled doom for me. B b because of all the doom mods. But look, it was clever and funny. Shut your dumb face. Day 38, <clears throat> I started making a mob farm with all the spawners I collected. This seems really inefficient, and I hear ya, but my plan was to use giant spikes from the Kibay mod, which is in this, to just kill the mobs and generate that sweet, sweet EXP. The only problem? Apparently this mod turned those spikes off. I swear I cannot win in this 100 days. I just can't win. So instead, we're doing it the old-fashioned way, just smacking them dead. This took a while, but it's the safest way for me to get XP right now, and I'd rather not do the whole dying thing from trying to get levels. Day 40 came around, and I got enchants on my gear. Not great enchants, just enchants. I also got sharpness 4 and knockback 2 on my sword, so that's a plus, but it's, uh, it's day 40. So it's time to finally stop being this terrible tank, but not tank motherfucker. Vampire. <laughs> Vampire. So... As a vampire, I cannot heal by myself. I need to smack people to get blood to do the whole healing thing. Upside to that is I don't have to eat, so good good there. Downside is the sun sets me on fire. I mean, kind of obvious. I can circumvent this by turning into a bat, which kind of helps. It lets me fly, albeit really slow. You'll see more on that later. But it knocks me down to two hearts. All in all, not the best, not the worst. I think I can work with this. Day 42, vampire no like sun, so mining sounds pretty good right now. Which is fine, because I need a doors. Levels and another mob spawner. Don't mind if I do. I promise I'm not cheating this in. I'm just really lucky or really unlucky, depending on how you see it. Day 43, I was done looting, so I got the fuck up out of that cave, and remember when I said I'd catch on fire? I did. Like a lot. And I'm 500 blocks away from my house. No problem, let's just turn into a bat. Why, why, why does this bat fly at negative 200 miles an hour. I'm going so slow that I owe the world speed. I, I am envious of the speed that snails can achieve. Uh oh, it's over. That was, that was it. That was, that's, that's as much as I can be a bat for with max blood. Fuck. With a combination of water, hiding under trees, and nearly using my newly acquired enchanted gap hole, I actually made it back home. I think I made that mob for him because a couple whacks and all my health is back. Alrighty, well, outside has proved too dangerous, so back to enchanting. And I'm just gonna speed up these next few days for you. More enchanting, then more mining, then more enchanting, with a little bit of villager farming to boot. More mining, more mining, and oh fuck, sun equals bad. Day 49, I'm doing the same shit. You can't really do much as this dumb fucking vampire, I've noticed. I can't really heal fast, and it takes like eight hits to even get back up to full health. I can't go out anywhere during the day. I'm not stronger, being a bad is useless. Like, this is probably the worst origin yet. Thankfully though, it's almost over and we can get a new origin soon, which is really good because I don't wanna fight the ender dragon as a vampire. Oh, by the way, the next 10 days, I, I'm gonna try to kill the dragon. Unless I get a really shitty origin, then I guess I'll just do nothing again. Buddy Q, I hear you ask. Aren't you underprepared for a dragon fight? Aha! That's where you're wrong. I didn't waste these past 10 days, even though I skimmed through them. It's pretty much just a rinse and repeat, but I was really farming for proc 4 on all my diamond gear that whole time. And now that I have it, I can make some ancient debris armor. This is the best I've got in terms of armor. To make better armor, I'm gonna need to actually kill the dragon. So let's hope that was enough. Cover me in debris. Gotta be with this for 10 days. Please give me something I can at least go outside in the daytime with. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Holy fuck! Okay, you can't make this up. Dragonborn. All but one of the great dragons left the end where they went is unknown. What we do know is you were born of them. We're gonna fight the dragon as a dragon. Woo! Okay, 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 professionalism, sorry. 
I guess I should tell you how this works. First off, we just get elytra wings, like permanently. We have thicker skin for natural protection. We can shoot the fireballs that Gene can, but we can only eat meat. And we're a little heavy and slow, but to counter that, we can use our wings to fling us up in the air for a burst of flight every couple seconds. Yeah, we're basically a dragon. Let's go fight mama. Day 51 and day 52, I got a little too excited that I got dragonborn and forgot to take off the wheel overlay. Uh, don't worry, you didn't miss anything but me trading with clerics to get ender pearls. but I did that for all of day 51 and day 52. You can actually kind of see it if uh, you look at the corners of the overlay, but you can't, you can't see the whole thing. Sorry. But on day 53, we had everything we needed to actually fight the ender dragon. Except the portal, you know. The eyes led me to the middle of the ocean, so I made some doors and went looking underground. This was not easy to find. It ended up being deep in the deep slate layer and took me a couple more eyes than I wanted to throw to find the stronghold. Still not as bad as some stronghold attempts, looking at you, better Minecraft. But when I got to the portal... I was two eyes short. Fuck. No, no, it's okay. I wanted to go all the way back and sit here getting more fucking eyes. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I don't even care that it was a hundred blocks away. Now I have all the eyes. I loaded them into the portal and I jumped in. And <clears throat> drum roll, please. My game crashed. Okay, let me explain the shenanigans. Basically, the end dimension crashed. The reason? I'll show you in a minute. But it broke and I had to reload this on a backup world. So I loaded into the fight and look at this place. The end dimension was a custom arena with custom spire looking pillars and would have been a custom perch had it actually loaded in. This place looked beautiful and I'll take it being a little unstable as long as... Wait, what? So the dragon is apparently supposed to spawn in like a boss, like the snake in the blaze that I found earlier. But for some reason, the game has a hard time loading this in. So it just reset the whole fight and gave the dragon alchemist, toxic, stormy, lethargic, weakness, rushed, one up, sprinter, and a couple of other things that I couldn't read because they went off the fucking screen. Yeah, that's fine. That seems fair, honestly. You know, I was actually just waiting, and I, I was actually just trying to exist today, and I thought, you know, it's only fair should the entire universe fuck me at once. Should I get struck with lightning that then proceeds to put me in a cobweb so I can't move? I was actually thinking of that exact same thing, funnily enough. So now, she's buffed up and the fight can actually begin. Look at the bottom left of this video. Yeah, this took three Minecraft days. One real life hour for this fight. And I don't think I could have beaten her if I wasn't actually a dragon myself. I got really lucky with this origin. Not only that I'm more beefy, but I could fly around and just land on pillars and spires and perch waiting for her to land. And you know, kind of fitting in a way. Awesome, so I took, I, I, I hit her and it seems to have done more damage to me which was the only way I could hurt her after my measly three stacks of arrows instantly got used up after I broke the crystals. I didn't know what any of her attributes did, so I just tried to play it as safe as possible. Apparently Stormy just made thunder happen. Uh, lethargic did nothing. She was very, very fast. Weakness? Uh, no. Rust? Uh, I guess she was a little rusty. Uh, toxic? Yes, indeed. I was poisoned the whole fight. Thankfully, as a dragon, poison means nothing to me. Alchemist? I mean, I'm not going to judge what someone does in their free time. And one up. The fight was really taking a toll on me when I got her about halfway down. Okay, she's halfway dead. What? Her health bar just went back up. Oh, fuck. She has one up. She has one up. That's what one up does. Gives her a full heal whenever she wants it. Well, I kept fighting her, and it was just a battle of attrition at this point. I'd fly around, she'd fly around, she'd shoot fireballs, I'd be immune. Until finally, on day 56, after a real life hour in the end fight, something that usually takes about five minutes, This was an 
insane fight. And if you want to see the entirety of it, I actually have a video in the description highlighting all the best parts, but it's like 20 minutes long, doesn't fit in the 100 days. With the dragon defeated, everything was hunky-dory until I got home. My house is here, right? It wouldn't like not be. It don't look like it. Hey, um, I had a house here. Just sit back down and I'll explain this again. I used the backup world to kill the dragon. For some reason, this backup world doesn't save the world data, which, I, I, I don't know, man. This mod pack is held up by Elmer's glue and prayers, but but because it didn't have that, I lost my entire, like, everything I did to the world. All the custom stuff in a level dat file just did not import over. My solution was to go in and kill Jean in the main world in creative. Don't get mad that I killed her in creative. I killed her once legitimately already. She had the same attributes. It was the same. I feel like I earned this. Or then since I was on the OG world, everything was back to normal. Also, I got dragon scales from the fight this time because they didn't get covered up from the glitched in platform. Point is, everything is back to normal and we can finally continue. My main prize were these dragon scales and when I put them in a smithing table with netherite, we can actually make dragon armor. Oh yeah, baby. We go from 163 to 193. Oh, progress. After all that excitement, I think I deserve a break. So I'm just peacefully, well, mostly peacefully, trading with villagers today. But time is running out as a dragon, so break over. I gotta really get this into gear before I run out of time as this origin. Day 58, I'm back in the end. I want elytra wings. I've been spoiled as this origin, and I can't go back to like not having them. So let's find the wings before I lose the ones that I do have. I did get a little sidetracked, however, because I found this really cool airship, and I wanted to loot it, but as you can see, that didn't go too well. Hey, it's not very fun here. Hey, I don't seem to like it in this place. It seems dangerous. Disappointed, I went to go find the elytra. First thing I found was this giant floating structure thingy, and I immediately knew what it was, and I knew to stay away. That's not foreboding at all, what do you mean? Finding an entity was rather easy. Having wings of my own made it a cakewalk. And on day 59, I picked up the elytra, looted the entire city while I was at it, and got the fuck home. There's no fucking way you're gonna catch me stuck in the end whenever I change origins. Cause if I change from like dragon to like moth, like, I'm, I'm absolutely fucked, so we're going back home as quickly as possible. So I headed back home, and as one final act, my dragon fused their own wings with their chest plate to pass down the ability of flight to all origins that may follow. Okay, really, what happened was I put elytra wings on the dragon plate, but hey, it sounds kind of cool, you know? It sounds kind of like epic, like in a lore kind of fashion, so I just, I just wanted to throw that out there. I thought it would be kind of cool. Then, to wrap up the day, I stole another rainbow sheep. I'll need them for later. There's 24 on here. We got, we got a chance to be a different thing. I know exactly what to do with that. Shulk. No, not that one. We've got Hoarder. Let's me have nine additional inventory slots. Sturdy skin, nice and big boy bulky. Strong arms, don't need a pickaxe. Uh, still gonna use one, it's faster. And no shield again. And a large appetite. Saturation like runs out much quicker. It's kinda it's what that means. So big adventures are gonna be really costly. Don't know if I wanna chance it. And if we've got more inventory slots and I should stay at home, you know what this means? Organization! Day 62 through day 65 was organization! I'm gonna show you the aftermath of getting about 10 double chests of items sorted nice and pretty, cause I didn't hit the record button for actually organizing. Look, don't worry, you didn't miss anything. I just, unless you really like the sound of chests opening and closing, you, it's fine. Everything is nice and organized, separated all the ways I usually do, and I am loving the way it looks. Then day 66 and 67 Eight. was spent sprucing up the base. By the way, remember how I didn't hit record for that last bit? Yeah, this is still part of that bit. I, I didn't record that either. God fucking. Damn it, I'm bad at YouTube. I promise this is the last time this happens. I swear, like, I hit the record button on OBS. I promise. I pressed it, but it didn't press it, and I don't really know why either. Anyways, these two days were spent making walls around the base and, like, a nice amethyst pathway to the village. Like, you really didn't miss much. It's literally just sprucing up the place. Sex number day is here! 
And if you don't already know, every 100 days on day 69, I make a sign to celebrate my lack of maturity. And this time, I'm gonna use the beautiful rainbow wool I got from my lovely sheepies. It took a couple revisions, but I'm really happy with how this all turned out. Also, I mean, who doesn't love funny sex number? It's funny sex number. It's it's the six and the nine. It's the fun. It's the funny sex number. Who doesn't love that? Day 70, the last day as a shulker, I ventured into the Nether to try and get me some wither skeletons. I found this cool Nether city, but no skulls. And with time on the clock running out, I think I'll leave it up to the next origin to put the smack down on the wither skeletons. There's like 50 on there that I can be. Please let me be one. Florin. Florian, or not, <sighs> flammable. Yeah, there's no fucking way I'm going back in the nether. Nectarvor, excuse me, we're just making up words now. I can only drink honey, which is great because I have like three honey bottles. This is wonderful. Absorbing, I do two more damage when wet. I'm not even gonna touch that one. And photosynthetic, I heal in the sun. So yeah, the nether, completely out of the question. And I have no honey except for these blocks that I got when I don't know, I blacked out or something. But that's not gonna cut it, so I need bees! Beat time day 71, and I'm running around looking for the bees. I usually have like thousands of beehives in a world, but now I'm looking for them, you know, because I need them to not starve to death. I can't find any. Side note, if you look at my hunger bar, you can see it isn't going down. Uh, that's because the sun fills it. That's what photosynthetic meant. I didn't know this, and I panicked about bees and honey for an hour, so. I'm very stupid in this 100 days, I'm noticing. I'm, I'm really I'm really just taking that in right now. Day 72, I found a beehive, procured them, and set them up at my house. All said and good. But now that I can't go in the nether, I might as well figure out something else to do to pass the time. So I flew back to where the stronghold is and decided to see if any of those drowns that were giving me trouble before had anything else to say. Oh, here's a naturally spawning drowny boys. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> I'm up there! Day 73, I found myself an underwater monument looking thing that had a drown spawner in it, so uh, don't mind if I do. Yoink. I then took it back to my base. Day 73, I got myself a trident. Next step was getting riptide on this bad boy, which was harder than I thought. I swear, enchantment levels in this are just fucked with because I get fortune two, now I get riptide two. Like, fuck this, man. I disenchanted and re-enchanted just all day to day 74 and still just riptide two was the best they'd give me. Fuck all kinds of duck, man. Day 74, I decided I would just fuse two riptide twos together because it was the best I was gonna get. And after running to my trading village to do some trading, I found this from a librarian, reaping rod. Applies the gapple effect when a killing blow is made. So I freaked out, dropped everything, and went back to my base, grabbed everything I could need, and on day 75, I got the book. Then, found out how it works. It only works on fishing rods. I guess I should have. Should have seen that coming, it's reaping rod is in the name. It didn't tell me it only worked on fishing rods. I just thought I didn't, I, Look, I know I'm stupid. That's the running theme of this video. I'm just really dumb. I, mm -hmm. yeah, I get that. <sighs> Either way, I wasted a day and now I'm sad. Day 76 is back to enchanting. I need Riptide 2 back if I'm gonna get another trident for Riptide 3 and I kind of ruined my Riptide 2 chances when I was trying to get Riptide 3 before because it doesn't fucking work because this mod pack hates me. And it started raining on day 77, so I thought I'd check out the cool island thingy. Would have been an awesome place to base up had I known it existed beforehand, but still is a cool place nonetheless. With that out of the way, I thought I could use my Riptide to loot all the monument structures at the bottom of the ocean, as long as I landed on the magma blocks, that is. So that's what I did. There wasn't really great loot in any of these places, but some of it was kind of cool. Day 78, while lo Day 78 while looting, I found a repurposed desert temple, and a million drowns tried to keep me from looting it. I still managed to loot it, and when I was leaving, <gasps> another trident. Oh my god, it's at zero durability, but I can use it to enchant. Let's go! Picking up my second trident, I kept looking for treasure. However, I didn't pay heavy attention to my hunger bar, and at 3 a.m., since the sun had gone down on day 79, I started starving to death. Come on, it's morning. Oh my glory, because it's morning. Yes, yes, ha, 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 fuck. Back in the ocean, my home away from home is a Florian, and I'm just looting and tooting. Most of the stuff I'm picking up is useless, but I kept holding out hope that I'd find something OP, broken, and, you know, maybe at least kinda cool. And when I got back home, it was day 80 already. My time being a Florian had left as soon as it came. 
The final thing I managed as a Florian was decking out my trident with Riptide 3. Of course, by fusing two Riptide 2s together, I couldn't naturally get Riptide 3, don't be silly. But I did manage to get it, and hopefully whatever origin I have next will make good use of this. Blazeborn. Blazeborn. The Blaze Poke- no. No, I'm just- I'm, I'm kidding. Blazeborn! Now this one's pretty obvious. You're immune to fire. In fact, you actually get buffs from fire. Immune to poison. Hot things can't be poisoned. Uh, duh. And we're hydrophobic, so don't count on using the trident anytime soon. But we can head back into the nether and finally get those wither skulls, so I won't complain too much. Wait, fuck, gotta go back. I actually forgot I have to eat now, so let's make some toast. Uh, a Blaze's favorite snack. That's canon. Alright, now let's find some skellies. Hey, you scared me a lot recently. But here's the thing, you no longer can hurt me. I was wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong, he exploded. Day 82, I still haven't gotten any drop from Wither Skeletons. And I have beheading on my sword, so I should have a decent chance of finding them. But apparently, I was having too much fun because this happened. I've never, never seen this before. <sighs> so after about two hours of troubleshooting, the culprit was these weapon and armor mods. I removed them from the entire pack and... She's back! She's back! I don't know for how long, but she's back! Hey, you come here often? Eclipse TV has made the advancement. Those were the days. This will be important. Right there too, Being or? fireproof, I was able to sprint to the loot immediately. And I got a lot of stuff. Gold, netherite, and the ancient trident. Looking it up, this thing smiths with a trident to make a hell fork. Well, I need the hell fork. Like, I, I, I gotta go back home and get that. Wait, you don't think this thing... Oh my god, I can trident through lava! Well, this is gonna make finding skulls much easier. And would you look at that? Day 84, I came across a nether outpost. I've seen this mod before, and honestly, I got unlucky. If this was a red one, there would be two wither skulls at the training range part of the structure, and that would be all I need. But for now, it just looks pretty, so I kept flying. Day 85, we've got a little intermission. I ran out of food, so I had to run home, so what a good time to tell you guys to like the video, comment for the algorithm, bullshit, and subscribe. How convenient of a day is this? I found a red outpost, just like I said a couple days ago, and would you look at that, two wither skulls. And that makes my total three. Finishing up the day, three wither skulls in tote, I stole some gold from the locals before heading back home. Have I ever mentioned that it's really difficult to get through the nether? Like, it's about 50 times more difficult getting through a modded nether with the world's most annoying fucking mushrooms on the planet? It was literal hell getting back to my portal out of literal hell. Fitting. Well, I got everything I need for the wither, and I'm running out of time as a blaze, so what other crazy shit can I do while I'm really overpowered? Remember that structure that I found a while ago in the end? Well, put an ender eye in the center and it resurrects the obsidolith. This was a bad move. This boss fight was much harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, we gotta go. I'm not gonna be able to kill this thing. I'm running away, holding up the white flag. I'm bitching out for now. Fuck that. We are not strong enough to kill the obsidolith. So instead, we're gonna need to improve. Anyways, I went back to the mines looking for gobber. I've gotten a little bit these 100 days, but I'm like six short from making a gobber bow. But EQ, I hear you ask once again, weren't you getting the wither bow? <sighs> well, the wither bow was a part of the weapons mod. You know, the one that I disabled so that my game wouldn't crash. So no, I no longer get my cool overpowered bow. So a gobber bow is gonna have to do. Day 89, I made the bow and got to enchanting. I really need infinity and I'd like power four, especially if I'm gonna kill the wither. Hey, just cause I won't get a bow anymore doesn't mean I don't wanna kill the damn thing. And day 90 was more enchanting to get that stuff. Infinity is just as hard to get as Riptide 3. Why am I not surprised? At the end of the day, I did get it to show up, but I didn't have the levels in time for our final origin swap. Not something badass, like a wither skeleton, a blaze, a dragon. I'll take a dragon again. No, a deer. A cloven-hooved deer. 
Okay. As a deer, we're vegetarian, meaning we can't eat meat. In the forest, we get speed and regen, which is fucking amazing. We have the ability, oh deer, meaning we can make a great escape with low vitality, whatever that means. This is Minecraft, after all. I, I don't really know how my vitality can be low. We only have eight hearts, damn it. We jump higher and take no fall damage, thanks to hooved grace. And we look the part, neato. All in all, not terrible, but not amazing either. Hope it can kill the wither. Day 92, I'm once again back trading with villagers to make a disenchanter. I want this for the future, but I never end up using it because I didn't have black carpet. So I had to run off looking for a black bear or a squid or anything to give me black dye, which took all fucking day. Then my dumbass found out that you can use coal as black dye, which I, I personally think is awesome, but I'm stupid for not knowing this sooner. Once again, theme of the 100 days, idiot, dumbass. That's okay though, because I know something I can take my frustration out on. Sad face, but at least the mod pack works. Day 93, I made the disenchanter, but it needs a catalyst to use, otherwise I risk damaging the item. The catalyst can be a lot of things, from amethysts to emeralds to nether stars. Only thing is, I don't have any of those things to spare. But it's a nice thought. Oh well, let's do something I can do. I bet you thought I forgot about him, didn't you? I marked the cords a while ago, and on day 94 and day 95, I dug to the center of the earth to save my dragon. They've been stuck in that cave all 94 days so far, and I'm finally coming to rescue them so they can spread their wings and take to the skies. Digging down actually took quite a while because I basically had to dig out half a chunk and deep slate takes forever to break. So anytime I came across that, add about six millennium to the time to dig. But I finally got them out and flew off on my new steed. Well, not really new, but newly freed steed. While I'm down here, I might as well pick up a few ores if I can. Okay, I'm stalling. Look, timing out these 100 days is hard, okay? I'm one day off, fucking shut up, let me just mine today. Day 97, I wanted my dragon to have a name, but I didn't have a name on hand, so I asked my Discord. Psst, you should join that, link in the description. I just couldn't pick one, so I picked them all. Say hello to Boris Ignis Nova Scarlet DD the third. Please make sure to use their full name when referring to them. Please don't be rude. Day 98 and our adventure is coming to a close. I spent the whole day making the beacon as a nice little symbol of how far we've come. And I'd just like to take this moment to thank everyone who supports this channel. I'm gonna drop the like sassy bullshit pretense for a second. I know I don't upload the most frequently. I'm trying to get better at that, but I hope you at least, you know, enjoy when I do upload. I put all my effort that I can into each video and I hope it shows. Thank you all so much for watching. It truly means the world and I'm eternally grateful. Okay, enough mushiness. <laughs> the tears are gonna start flowing if I continue. With that, we have finished everything in these 100 days. Ah, <sighs> done. Wait, aren't I forgetting something? Yeah, wait, hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, you, you, I, I, I forgot about you. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play a game. We're gonna play how close can I get and still hit you and not actually trigger you. I think this is a perfect distance. You can suck my balls now, Mr. Obsidolith. This is how we're ending the 100 days, Obsidolith. You and me, just you and me, dancing together, doing this. You can heal because you're being damaged. That's what you do. You're healing, but it's not fast enough. Half health dead on day 99. I'm going to end your life. You do not have a say in this. I'm so sorry that it had to be this way, but if you had just fell in over the first time, we could have had a proper actual battle instead of you being an absolute dickhead, Obsidolith. It is nine in the morning. I have not slept, but I'm gonna end you right now. <sighs> Sayonara. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Now for realsies, we're done.
I hope you enjoyed the 100 days in the Origins mod. This was a crazy challenge, but we pulled it out. There's still more Origins to go through though, so if you want to see a 200 days, maybe I'll do it. I don't know. This was a huge, like, buggy mess of a mod, and like a 94 headache stacked into one, so maybe. If you want to see some other 100 days I made, or other Minecraft videos, or any type of video whatsoever, explore the channel. I got tons of shit. But that's all I've got to say for now. My name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and thank you for watching.